Hello my subscribers. There's a phrase I can scratch off the list of things I thought I'd never say. Sorry for the delay in getting another video to you. Since the last patch I've been pretty much crashing every time I try to paste. I'm fighting through it. This is my sixth attempt at this video. But I wanted to show you some cool things I've been working on um, and some things I've been, I found out on the internet. Made these really really interesting windows and I love how they worked out and I figured out how to do that. And I was playing around up here with a shoji screen, and I just want to kind of show you guys how to play with the, the voxet, the tiny voxel pieces. Um, I've got a tiny voxel piece here on my cursor right now. I wanted to just extend this shoji screen around the corner. So we're going to go that way. And I want you to watch as I add this pip, it's going to blur and blend. And I'm going to show you how we fix that. So I'm going to go over three, and then I'm going to go down two, three, four, come back one, up one, two, three, four, just to keep it consistent. You'll notice when I hit that fourth one, it fixed what it had done, and that's the secret to fixing this blur. So I'm going to swing all the way around four. Apparently, I need to go five and let's swing out there and there. Now if we come over to this side we're going to notice it's all messed up in the middle. The way we fix that is we get the pip all the way back up where we want it and back aligned with the area over there and then we run down the line cleaning it up. And essentially what you're doing is you're putting a pip, and now I have this nifty shoji screen, you're putting a pip, another pip back in the corner. So follow the mouse, not the little yellow dot. You lay down your rows to make your flat sheet. When you make your angle, you'll see it blurs out here in the middle. And once you have this second piece done, you then re-put a line of pips right down this seam. And it's, as you saw how much troublesome it was, it can be troublesome. And then when you're doing the same over here. That, by the way, is how I made my windows over here. And I don't have a section of wall, so let me throw a section of wall up and I'll throw a bigger wall, throw a uh, bigger area up here so I can put a window in place. And I'm just going to press Alt and then Fill just to match. Now, what I essentially did was I made a hole and I made it an odd number, so let's go five by five. And then I grabbed my pixel. Let me get my pixel where I can see it. I can't see it anywhere up here. There it is. Let's put it about there. Now I'm going to start going up. Going to the top. Oh, I went one too far. So then I'm going to scroll down to the middle and start laying them going sideways. Now you notice how it messed up there in the middle. If I put another pip back on that cross beam, come back to the cross beam. Now obviously this is a very, I'm doing this in a hurry so it looks kind of messed up. Now one of the cool things that I discovered when you, when you create a frame like this, and get it perfect, if you grab the frame and paste it, and I put it, obviously I put it on the outside, so let me slide it forward a little bit. It bevels the wall around it and makes it look smooth. These windows look so smooth from this side. I am from the other side too. I'll my door, but I don't have to open it. But it's play around with it, play around with the different textures. Obviously this was messy. The, I, the, what, the most important thing I wanted to show you was how to fix it when you're messing around, not that. When you're messing around with, with the pips and such and you make a corner and it kind of fills in for you, which, it, which is what it wants to do. When I can grab, let's see, I can grab my little pip right there and control C. And the whole idea here, control V, Go up a couple of times there, and let's zoom in so you can see. Ah, can't see there. Up, up, up. See, 
make a line, make a rope, make whatever you want. I cut over to the right, or to the right, see how it makes that angle? But if I cut back and hit it again, the angle goes away. So sometimes I want that angle and sometimes I don't want that angle. And it has to do with the order in which you do these. And let's go down and see how it's making, it, it makes that first angle for me. Makes that angle there. But if I don't want the angle, I just make sure I do the corner last. And that takes the angles out. There you go. Play with that, see how that works. I'm hoping to make more videos when they add more tools. SOE is talking about adding a bunch of things in here in the next few weeks. Enjoy, let me know if you need to see anything, and thank, as always, for watching.